Hello to everyone and welcome to another marine engineering video by Adventure Story Channel. Today, dear friends, we will talk about the overhauling of air conditioning plant which is used for accommodation, cooling down in hot areas, in very hot areas and mostly of the time this air conditioning unit is working all over the year depends at what position the vessel is being and this overhauling will be 40,000 hours overhauling we will see detailed information of each part we will check together the points that we need to be careful and I hope this video will help a lot of new marine engineers to understand the way of overhaulings, the proper way, what to be careful, the safety as we have told already is the number one rule and the most important on our job is the correct preparation of the tools. We always need to know where is our special tools everything must be placed in order so next time it will be reusable again and ready always for use first of all i like to thank you that you always like and share my video i hope this video is very very helpful for you as i have seen from your comments and i like to thank everybody who is watching this channel stay tuned and always support and always have a discussion about the overhauling procedures the jobs and the life on board thank you again and shortly we will start to see the preparation the things that we will take in concern first of all I like to tell that all the special tools that we will need uh, some of them we prepare some of them was already there on uh, the spare parts boxes and we will see also together all the parts that we will use here in this overhauling don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and we will start now first of all I like to tell that
evaporated from the oil okay. and now as you can see everything is already out we suction twice or three times all the ground and now we have drained the oil from the sump of the traditional plant like this way from here all the oil will be drained and always be careful to not uh, touch such a kind of thing of uh, oils and always be careful to not have any leakage of the fern to the atmosphere because we are thinking for the environment and we protect always the environment after uh, take out all the freon and the oil we can open the covers we can take out all the covers there is a uh, special tools to remove the top covers with the valves there is uh, some kind of thread that we put and we press it up so the cover will be lift and will be separated from the main body this is how it looks like the sump. You can see the crank here, you can see the connecting loops, you can see the suction filter, the white one from the sump that suction the oil and deliver it all around in the compressor. All the covers and the valves will be examined in the future of this video. So very be careful, need to be on the examination all the parts to see that if there is any cracks any distortion on the metal surface this is the heater which is located on the oil sump this is the suction filter here the pump suctions all, all the oil and deliver it to the friction parts which is connecting roots crankshafts all around the pistons the liners and also this is the way how to remove the covers all the covers is be separated it's better to arrange them and set them just to not make any mistake of the placement after put them back it's better to set them with numbers or put them arrange them down on the engine room that you know what is going on here you can see we have found some parts broken from the springs inside this is the most common and this is here after we have removed all the packings all the packings will be removed and you can see also some details on the cover there is a little damage all the surfaces will be sanded with sandpaper with a very fine sandpaper so the new packing will be attached will be attached properly so the sump also will be examined by the fingers you can feel and anything you can find will be there as these particles here which was found also there down the most uh, parts that have problem there is this kind of springs and as you can see these small parts already make some damage inside in the pistons so what we did to make a little bit better of these surfaces we grinding, grinding them a little bit with a grinding stone a fine stone so we can repair a little bit the surfaces so in the future we will know what is going on if there is any damage more that happened and all the surfaces will be uh, sanded properly and fined so the next time after 40,000 hours you can compare and you can see what is going on inside the compressor uh, there is specified tightening torque after for everything inside the air compressor air condition compressor sorry there is uh, specified uh, torques about that and there is lock nuts and also here you can see a different stage and you can see the damage on the top of the piston crown also to remove 
the pistons here you will need to release the connecting root uh, nuts and then you will use some uh, M8 bolts and you will pull all together piston and cylinder liner like this everything also as you can see is separated here this is the unloading device which contains these springs and these springs uh, have more of the damage this is the connecting route where it connects on the crank as you can see there is bores there on the crankshaft and this is the bolt which is connected to the liner so you can pull them this is the special tools for the covers to remove and the cylinder liners the small one again here we have an examination of all the parts also the body uh, as you can see here it's all cleaned all cleaned with also with compressed air all the parts here will be examined and also one of the damage was caused uh, with uh, one nut which was modified uh, from the previous crew that was on board somebody made the overhauling I really don't know who but we don't care about that that but uh, the main problem was that was modified and was not modified and not replaced with the original spare parts that was on board I don't know maybe they like to save the spares for the something else but as you can see here it's better to put the original spares so you will not have any damage what was cause of that damage that was a nut that have put in the place uh, one nut and bolt which was replaced uh, of the rivet the rivet that have uh, manufacturer done which I believe it's more stronger for the vibration as if you use a normal nut and uh, bolt they will be splitted by the vibration that the machinery have that's why the manufacturer use the rivet on that kind of places that he have installed as you can see the damage is several only we have uh, seen that on the top of the piston the liners was okay all the valves that we check was all okay was not any damage on the valves on the surfaces and also one thing that is a little bit tricky here is to dismantle this unloading equipment from inside the air conditioned plant because you will use a allen key and uh, your arms it's a little bit difficult to be placed there there is a small place to make such a job and there is trick how to turn uh, this equipment so you can dismantle and also very be carefully must be for the assembly of that kind of unloading equipment because if you are not put it correct you will not match the other parts after you will mount of the springs this is the most important so be careful how you dismantle everything and how you mount it, it back so it will be the same position just have this in your mind and here you can see I have placed this video so you can see everything is mounted you will see also this analogic video how it performs inside the air conditioning plant as you can see all the surface is clean everything is examined the body it will be examined this is where this unloading lies here in this place so by by pushing of this there is a change on the valve and this is how the air condition will be unloaded there will be no load so it means the valve will be not compress the frame, the frame will be recycled only there and will be not delivered to the delivery valve. As you can see here we have covered with these racks so there is not any dust will reach our parts 
everything is created by the bucket on the floor there there is a signs and numbers of each part where it goes from which stage so we will not mix them and as you can see here now i dismantle this unloading equipment and always uh, have in mind to have all the spares before you attempt to make any overhauling on the engine room just have all the spares because you never know what will happen and to remove that one there is a lock a small lock this one here which is reusable you can reuse but if you will pull it and put it back again a lot of times this will be deformed and it's better to replace with new one so piece by piece after you release this analogic equipment there will be two separated pieces which you, you can take out and for removing that one there is four allen bolts but you will need only to take out two of them they, they uh, diagonally one from the other corner and one from the other one so remember that these allen bolts they will be removed a little hardly because there is also a locking uh, thread paste applied on them and if you will see this kind of bolts, uh, bolts uh, when you have on your spare box there is also coming with this paste locking paste applied already on the thread for this kind of overhauling you will need a lot of time if you have only this kind of job it is nice job it's not so easy but you must carefully some you must careful some steps which is very very important the most important is the examination of the valves for me it's all half its grow everything is very very important and also on the top cover here that I have my uh, right hand there is a rack if you, can, if you can see here there is a rack on the top there is going one o-ring which is also must be replaced this is uh, where go the top cover here you can see the procedure of dismantling the, this unloading equipment I have made a time lapse and a complete video of the removing of that one and the placement of uh, such equipment which is the most difficult part and also after for the mounting if it is the reverse of uh, this mounting just remember but also to remember always to read the manual for the proper tightening torques of each part which is also really really very important without them the equipment for sure will be damaged and the service of the life will be less so always follow the tightening torques and also I advise to be careful your tightening torques equipment do not make any mistake with micrometer uh, because some of the torque ranges they have uh, libres uh, which is a different system just be careful to be in the SI system whatever you do or if you use uh, libres this is uh, pounds per feet something like that okay, you can make a convert if you have a converter on the computer and you can also determine the tightening pressure that is not to apply okay here we will check one by one our pieces of the loading equipment we will be tied them we will secure them and after that we will be tested them this is outside here how it must be 
and always check uh, all the parts to be in proper position this is very very important now it's placed back in the time lapse very quickly but as you can see and as you can imagine check my hands how it is inside and how I work even the flashlight it will be positioned inside so I have a better look what I'm doing there and sometimes you use your hands and only you will use the feeling of the fingers that you are tight and you make the job properly you must use all the senses that you have after that we will make we perform a test of all the stages of the analogic equipment we will see that is working properly what else we change here we change also the suction oil filters we examine the mechanical Here, this is the test of the first stage. As you can see this kind of equipment extends. And this works inside the platform. And then attach to the next part, of, which is attached to the cylinder liner, which you saw before how it pressed. It's so beautiful to see how it's working without and you can see here also on the top you can see all the parts out on the inside. This you will see only by this kind of uh, test. I have connected air here as you can see my right hand. Let's see if, if the compressor is closed, you will not have such a visual. And also, the second stage and the first stage will be tested like that you see many, many times. Just be careful, and I say again, the position of all equipment. If you don't know to remember how you take out, make a picture before you overhaul any equipment. So you can have a reference how it was and also the good reference is also a good but one picture as uh, I have heard this one like 1000 words and here also we can see all the valves here are the pistons all the surfaces which is attached and if you like to use any oil to lubricate some of the parts, you will use only the oil which is used inside your air condition plant. Never apply different oils because this will be this will be a mix which is uh, very very bad for our equipment. We do not like any mixes of the oil on inside the air condition plant. And as I remember, we replace also one bearing because we find that that bearing has some scratches on the bottom and was the reason for the replacement. As you can see, this is the nut here that was modified. And this is the rivet type that have uh, this brand of air condition made, Sabroe. This is also the parts that broken. This is the holding of the spring that you saw before, which is broken, and some parts remain there. And as you can see, there is a lot of parts, a lot of springs, which also must be examined. A lot of uh, metal parts, which must be tested for the strength to see if it's moving or not. The sealing surfaces of each valve. There is such a lot of uh, spare parts to be checked, for sure. But it's a really, really nice job. What we will do next, we will be in a assemble of all the parts. We will be placed it in the same place. Everything will be checked, everything will be tested. Only appropriate oil will be filled next. But before the filling of oil, Let's say we have placed 
all the parts inside we have tied everything properly we have checked everything all the mechanical seals that we have we have placed replaced all the filters what we do the first thing is we set the packing we set the o-rings we close the covers and what we do we make a vacuum inside our compressor we have made a vacuum so there is not air inside our air condition plant and our compressor and the next step because we have a vacuum inside we can fill the oil we can feed the oil through a special pump there is a special pump a high pressure pump manual by hand we will fill the oil inside and then we can open the valves so the frame from the system will enter this compressor and also a very good practice is before to fill the oil and before to open all the valves to connect the system it's to make a vacuum and leave your plant your compressor leave it like that uh, under vacuum to see if the vacuum drops to determine any leakages from your packing from your gland seal and here you can see the mechanical seal that we have taken off there is a damage on the surface and little bit on the shaft there is some friction but more damage is on the thrust bearing here here this is the mechanical seal and this is all the parts that contains this seal just remember do not make uh, also here you can see we apply with torque wrench to tight all the the allen nuts and bolts and I like to tell that you must test it your system that you do not have any leakages leave it for one day or two days to verify that your pressure from vacuum will not drop until will not increase to the atmospheric pressure so if the vacuum remains inside everything is good you can uh, fill oil and you can also connect the line you can open the valves so all the line will be connected to the compressor and then you can perform the test first start in the first stage and also before start leave it one day to see what's going on uh, in stop condition check also and clean your parts of uh, air condition unit you can clean the motor from any dust you can check the belts the tightening of the belts and also what we do else for the recovery bottles we enter how much we recover uh, how much fren was removed from the line we have a place in a book where we a environmental book that we have a entry there also a suction filter which will be replaced also the springs here on the valves will be checked everything will be checked also for the tightness as you can see there is a lot of things that you need to see but it's very very nice job I hope you will have experience of this one and you will see the plant how it is with all its parts but now you have a good imagination what is going on and what you will see here we have the bearing the new one and the old one you can compare the difference the good thing that we do not have any damage on the crankshaft and now you will know how to move what to prepare and what to be careful on this overhauling also very be careful it must be done when you're working in 
a lot of places, not only here in the air condition plant, there is a lot of cables, a lot of electrical equipment that is on the plant installed. You must be careful when you're working to not be absorbed from the work that you forget the around environment and what is going on sometimes we move our hands and we touch some sensors, some uh, solenoid valves and we can make uh, damage to the wiring which must be also very very careful. There is need about of two person to work on this equipment, there is no need to work more than two person uh, and by your experience you can calculate how many person will be assigned on the work because if there is more uh, there will be more trouble to finish the work to perform because there will be disturbance on uh, the space and the use of the tools and there will be a lot of opinions ok, opinions is welcome to, but to be really true but to solve the problem and to not make it longer so everything must be planned to have a plan about any job and everything will be fine read the manual before any attempt of overhauling I always do that even I don't remember I always refer to the books see the tightening thoughts uh, and also if you like to ask anything you are welcome here don't forget to support the channel I like also to inform you that I have a site here which you will see always below this is uh, the Bonanza site that I have a account there you can find materials which is which will be uploaded in the future and I will try really I will try to upload as much as possible and I will like to make a library a big library with a lot of information well you can find there well which will be for marine engineers mostly and they will have a access for that one and also uh, this is good because you can find a lot of information there I'd like to thank you everybody, stay tuned to Adventure Story channel, don't forget to subscribe, to share your comments, to share the videos and also your thumbs up. So see you in the next video, bye bye.